We are live. Malai Kahana. No Ko'olau. Loa development. Protest against Bill uh, 47. Not much bandwidth out here. So. But it's going to end up at the uh, Malai Kahana recreational area and we'll hear some people talk and we'll learn a little bit more about what this is about. Really one of the first such marches uh, in this part of the island. Historic. Solidarity from uh, Union. There have already been some uh, evictions in this area. This gonna... Hey, how's it? They're gonna join the march now. I'll follow you guys. We're live on the internet. Show me that sign. Sunset Beach Community Association opposes Bill 47. All right, thank you. Surf Rider Foundation banner. That's a that's a cool. Uh, live streaming. Live stream. Live on the internet right now. How's it? Hey. All right. Got everybody here. Hey. Hi. You're live on the internet. I see you. I see you all over the place. Country <laughs> come All the shirts. Oh, that's a good sign. Envision. For all the name of the plan is supposed to be Envision Laie. This is an Envision Sprawl with the biohazard symbol. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. You're live on the internet, by the way. Alright. We're all Aloha. live on the internet. Show Aloha. me your sign. Aloha Ka'aina. We are the caretakers, the guardians. Absolutely. Thank you so much. We're nearing uh, the front where we have a uh, Hawaiian flag. Oh, here, you gotta see this sign. You are live on the internet. Aole Bill 47, overdevelopmental. All right, good sign. <laughs> All right, hey, there's Darlene Rodriguez of the Hawaii People's Fun. <laughs> You're live on the internet. Anything you want to say? Yes. Keep the country country. Keep the no country country. No Bill 47. No Listen Bill. to the people. That's uh, June James. He's uh, one of the documenters in this area. She lives out in uh, Paula, I think, down the road. applauding <laughs> so 
Okay. Got too excited. You are live. Malai Kahana on the north shore, north windward shore of uh, Oahu, where there is a protest against Bill 47, the development of this area, make way for tourists and millionaires, and make a profit for corporations at the expense of. Uh, local people, the local residents, local culture. Uh, while I'm taking the picture, I'm also getting in the way of a lot of other uh, videographers. I apologize for that, but I'm doing that for you guys that are watching. <laughs> Come, come forward. And that opens uh, the area, being officially received, so the rest of the people can uh, come forward and then uh, it's a great group here. Hey! <laughs> Aloha! Hello my Kako! Mahalo! Mahalo for coming out here today standing in unity. My heart is filled with such great joy to see everyone here today standing in unity to say our ole to this massive urbanization development, to the gentrification of our Kolao Loa community and the displacement of our Hawaiian people. My name is Joshua Nonga. This is my eldest. Her name is Ilihia. We live in Haula. I live in Haula in a house that my mother was raised in with her 13 siblings, currently raising my ohana. Wanted to thank each and every one of you here today who supports us in Aloha Aina no Ko'ola Loa. And I wanted to give you guys a little bit of context about why we're here today. 
We're here today because as a community, we face many challenges, obstacles, as well as a threat of attack that threatens our very way of life here in Ko'olau Loa. There are many forces that just like this storm that is approaching us right now, that are trying to rain and wash us out. One of those forces being this development known as Bill 47, or more commonly known as Envision Lai, the Turtle Bay Resort Expansion. Now this development breaks my heart and is a grave concern of mine because it would aim to, uh, to create a massive urbanization development of over 875 housing units right across the street in Malaikahana. Now, many of you guys are probably wondering, oh, why develop? I mean, oh, why protest develop? Change is going to come. Why don't you guys just get over it? Yeah, they're telling us right now. Why don't you guys just get over it? We're going to build it no matter what. Well, I say, you know what? You guys can try build them, but everybody over here, Everybody over here going to stop that. Everybody over here is showing that we stand in unity of Kanaka Maoli, Kamaina, Malahini. You visit our first time, you all know why we're here. That we stand, that we're going to stop this. Now across the street, part of this Envision Laie, they want to build a new shopping center. They want to build a new town. They want to turn Malaikahana into Mililani. And I say, no. Aole. They want to build this new Mbalko connector road that will cut right across the Kuliana landhold, our land of our Auntie Don Watson out here. I say, Aole to that. Aole. Respect traditional customary rights of Native Hawaiians. We already lost too much, and we ain't going to give any more up. You guys want to build a development? Then follow the Oahu general plan and build it in a primary urban core. Yeah. Yeah. We'll build it down in Kapolei, in Honolulu. Yeah. Now there's a reason why Koola Law and YNI in the Oahu general plan was aimed to preserve our rural country community. There's no coincidence that Koola Law and Oahu communities have the highest percentage of Native Hawaiians living on Oahu. There's no coincidence of that. There's no coincidence that those who live out here in Kola Law choose to live out here in Kola Law because of our rural country setting, because of our country community. And there's no there's no coincidence of what's happening right now and I want each and every one of you to let it be known that we are under attack. Our Hawaiian community is under attack. Our very way of life is under attack. Now at this same time when they talk about building affordable housing, uh, low income housing, workforce development housing, our friends in Kahuku Village Plantation are being evicted. Now. Mayor Crow Caldwell, the Department of Planning and Permit, they say, hey, Kalamai, Kauku Village, i sorry, we no more money for help you guys out. i sorry, i sorry, you know. And I'm watching my neighbors, my friend Glenn, my friend Pake, all his families, they had to move, they had to take time off work. My brother had to quit his job because they got to deal with all this moving, right? But at the same time, these, these same people are telling us, oh, we need to build this development. How are we going to displace our people and get rid of our very important Kauku community for building new affordable housing? That don't make sense. Does that make sense to you guys? No. No make sense at all. Now, at the same time, you have big corporations, big developers, guys with hundreds of millions of dollars. Yeah, I'm not talking about tens of millions, but hundreds of millions of dollars who get in green light 
who getting fast passed by a government, by our government who don't care. They giving all these. Uh, they putting right now very simple. They putting profits before people. Mayor Col Caldwell telling you guys out here, our neighbors here in Kolaloa, that he don't care about you guys or what happens in your Hawaiian community or what happens in your rural community. Just like the windmills that's being developed, that we had our, our neighborhood board meeting telling us pretty much, oh, no matter what, we're going to do it whether you guys like it or not. You know what I said to that? You can try. <laughs> try build them. See what happens. Try build this development. Try evict and gentrify our community members. See what happens. Now, each and every one of you has to understand the power of individual and the, the collective power of people. And that's what we are here to show. We are a youth-driven organization. We are driven by our native Hawaiian culture. We honor and cherish our Hawaiian traditions. We respect the traditional and customary rights of native Hawaiians. We respect our neighbors. Now you tell us you want to come in here and build this development and bring in, oh, Turtle Bay, they want to build more condos and timeshares. Hey, we're going to bring jobs to the community. How much of those jobs are livable wage jobs? How much of those jobs can provide for an opportunity for our neighbors to provide for the education and a quality of lifestyle for the kids? How much of those jobs will allow our people to retire with a pension and opportunity to live in dignity? Now, right now, because of all of these forces, we have continued to see over the years a mass exodus of our Hawaiian people that has to leave and go to the mainland. Because why? They literally look for a better, better life, a better opportunity. And I say I'll owe it to that. This is our ancestral homeland. This is where our ancestors roam. We have the right to live here, not to be pushed off of our land. But not only that, that our neighbors, who are also not a Kanakamoli but Kamaina, also have a right to live in a community that they choose, that we want to maintain our rural country community and maintain and keep the country country. Right? That's what we're about. Now, you guys are going to hear a lot of speakers today. Uh, many of them will be from the community. There will be some of our leaders, some of our kupuna, who would only be, it'd only be wrong if we didn't give them opportunity to speak. But you guys are going to hear a lot of voices that haven't been heard because it's been drowned out by big money and a government who doesn't care. So right now, right now, today, this silent march is saying that each and every one of you, you guys care. Each and every one of you have made a stand and a commitment to say we want to keep the country country. We respect the traditional and customary rights of Native Hawaiians. And if you're going to build, don't give me this, oh, 1,000 jobs, 900 of them construction, and after the stuff is built, no more livable wage jobs. If you must sacrifice... Call my KK, she kind of shy. Pull all yesterday. But... What we're going to say is, if you guys are going to uh, bring this development, include the community. Ask the community what right, we need. Right. Don't just come uh, uh, bypass and, and, and no ask us community. They did ask us, but you know what? They never listened. And now they're trying to go in behind our back and build this development anyway. But I'm going to say, and I'll continue to say to anybody that will listen, our ole to Bills 47, our ole to the Koala Law, so-called Sustainable Communities Plan, and aloha aina no koala law. Mahalo to each and every one of you. Mahalo for coming out. God bless you. Enjoy the show because it's going to be a good one.